Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Sanitarium. So in the previous episode, we wandered aimlessly lost as fuck around town trying to open up. Just kidding. We actually did a pretty good job editing down all this stuff and uh, as much as I could, but we went around town basically Show credits. showing credits. Basically going through and uh, checking every possibility there was within the place and finding eventually a pathway underneath Katsukoto's um, uh, statue into a maze where we hopefully will be able to find his mask to rip it off because that's the only thing that was mentioned needed to be done that we haven't done so it must be what we gotta do so let's check this maze out return to game I don't get any of it one two one two I guess it's not that bad. That was close. Okay, I guess I'm not going that way. About the step staircase. It's an optical illusion. But what? Lordy, okay, with the breaking of the uh, things, this is a kind of an annoying location. No, don't go down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can I go around and behind? How about that? There we go. Oh, that is how I go. <laughs> well then. Up this staircase? Yes. This looks like a release switch. It's a series of freaking puzzles. Okay. <laughs> Three hours later. I walked past this thing a couple of times and think to touch it. Hello? Oh, there's a new one. On a timer, or do I have to hit a button again? Oh no, I don't. It's, yeah, there we go. It's an optical illusion and a way I need to go to, uh, to hit a lever. This lever locks the gate in place. Nice. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> <laughs> the death mask of Quetzalcoatl. Get shit off his face. There we go. Much better. Does that give me all of Quetzalcoatl's paddle powers as well? My poor baby, you had an awful fall. What? I'm the so heck? glad you've come home. Home? Well, of course, silly. You did want to come home, didn't you? Yes, I, I wanted to. Well, then that's that. Hush now, Max. No, when you fell down the chimney, wrong. you bumped your head, and now you're a little confused. That's all. My, my head hurts. I remember hitting it. That's right, dear. You hit your head on the chimney. Now don't give it another thought. 
I'll take care of you. Chimney, no. That sounded I, ominous. I hit it. No, I hit it on. In my. my. car? No, of course not, dear. You just bumped. Yes, my car. I was driving and. the brakes. But, Max, we've been waiting for you for so long. Don't leave now. We? Ooh. Who? Why, me and little Sarah, of course. <laughs> well, who else would it be, silly? But, I would. Her but dead that's sister. Uh, Sarah is dead! Sarah! Max is home! Mm -mm. Max! You're home, you're home! I missed you! You're alive! My god, Sarah! Don't fall for any of this shit. No! You're dead! Oh, Lord. Your tenacity is quite remarkable, you know. Your doctor tells me that you should have died in the car wreck. Jesus. I wish things could have worked out differently, Max, but they didn't. You leave me little choice, old friend. Did you honestly expect me to sit by while you went public with your cure? No. I've worked much, much too hard to allow that. I guess this is goodbye, Max. No. The whole I'm truly time sorry it hospital. had to end like this. Fighting for my life. Okay. So literally everything to include the asylum was actually part of his mind. Quetzal Quattel murdering an entire village. Morgan trying to kill me. Now I see the connections. None of this is real. Not a single anything has been real. Can I just change when I want to now? An Aztec statue. Sarah's doll. A Grimwall comic book. Nice. A birdhouse. A birdhouse. Sarah. Who am I now? I have to hold on to my real identity. I am Max. A birdhouse. An a Interesting. Steam escaping from a hole in the pipe. Do some exploration. A tombstone. Your name here. <laughs> this headstone says Travis W. Nice goddamn cat. The stone reads Jetta Driscoll. What does this headless apparition want from me? What does this Maybe Sarah wrong type. What does this headless apparition want from me? What does this head A tombstone. Chris P. See you in hell. A headstone. It says Jonas Bruner. He deserved to die. A headstone. Greg C. He made his bed and now he sleeps in it. A headstone. This one says Chris S. One beer too many. Gotta bring Jetta's head back, which I don't agree with, but that's a right. Bridge of Thorns. Ouch. A wall of impaled pumpkins. Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. Not as a statue. Pumpkins appear to light up, but why? My God, they... They must have been illusions. Everything is... Jesus, those kids burned up in there too. A human skull. I'm assuming that's what I need for Jetta back there. 
What is that? It looks like a giant eye. It is a giant eye. You're surrounded by them, actually. A stupid a skull. It's a Jedi. A stone crypt. It came up out of the ground. Cement lid looks heavy. Probably As a, a grim, Grimlock move. Yep. The head of the angelic statue. Jetta's body without a head. No wonder he was restless. It happens. Okay, I can't cross with him. The head of the map. The... There we go. Yo, that's creepy. This game appears to be a test of strength. Hit the board and ring the bell. The head of the angelic stat an Aztec stat. Got it. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Let me Not see. Not from what here. Got it. Or yellow and blue. Why are these teeth flashing colors? I'm not putting my hand in the fire. Oh, good lord. The head right. of the angelic... Um, Red. Yellow. Green. Blue. Clown's nose has popped out. Now there's a small hole. Small enough for a child to fit through. Sarah's... The clown nose broke to reveal a small hole. Yeah, not too hard. At least, not... At least my sanity's coming back a little bit faster. I mean, definitely doesn't seem that way, but angel wings. The angelic statue's left wing. Just let me pick those up as a small child into my heads real quick. Gotta be observant on some of these puzzles. Man, that is some nightmare fuel right there, I tell you what. But I could see why with the background that this kid had to deal with this, uh, the first time actually going into this place. Into that carnival. An empty pedestal. Something's missing here. A couple of things are missing here. It needs a torso as well, and I have a feeling that's not quite here yet. Let's go take a look. Hmm. Strong gates. A stained glass window. A stained... Strong gates. A bridge of webs. It looks very delicate. Okay, so lightweight. Little girl, there we go. A stone head. It seems to transmit energy to the statue. Ugh. I'm not strong enough to move this thing. Strong the head. A... I could move this thing, but that other statue was in the way. A statue of Quetzalcoatl. These plates on the floor look like they could move. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. The head of an Ah, another freaking trial and error puzzle. Three, two. Five, three, one, four. Now, if I switch to two, I can move this statue. A crystal monolith. There's something inside. 
Ah, their wailing could shatter my eardrums. Let's make them wail harder. It's a horrible thing to have to do. A piece of the angelic statue was go. trapped in the crystal. Bed. Right wing of the angelic statue. Well, I have to get it. We still need a torso. We got a head. We got two wings. We're missing a torso. So I guess. Oh, it's still go across this other grown ass statue. <laughs> we'll go through this, though. Still got some stuff over there to do. Strange hut. It looks like the structures that made up the hive. Because his, his weight as the other dude was too much for these things. I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. Okay. Strange machinery. There are four control levers. Oh, that sounds like a man with four arms could run this. The disruptor is working. The grubs have moved away from the grate. What's in the grate? A grate in the floor. There's a tunnel underneath. Look at that. Fuck grates. I can't do that. But... She can. I was about to say, where the hell did she go? I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. Okay, so I need to be a statue to walk. And head of the angelic, a right wing of the. Ang I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. A honeycomb. Looks like something is inside. There's a few of them. Insect mandible. That should be an insect sharp. Not there an in with her massive strength. Torso of the angelic statue. Pick up the torso of the angelic statue. I think that's all the pieces. With that we should be able to piece this whole statue together and hopefully that'll open up the large gate. Or the heavy gate that apparently is strong enough to keep even my strong man out. An empty pedestal. Something's missing here. Yes. A, tor a torso. Better. But it's still not complete. It is missing and right wings. Better. But it's still not complete. Well, stop commenting and the let me finish. Better. Thank you. The and the head. Woo! Boom. Portal out of here and a gate that's open. That's what I'm talking about. The statue is reassembled. And a portal has opened. The real world must be close. I can feel it. I'd better move quickly. <laughs> I'd better move as fast as I possibly can. A complete walking pace. At least he runs upstairs. Come into the light. There we go. Ooh, we're not quite done yet. Better get moving. So his need to walk everywhere? Uh oh. <laughs> Here, God, I don't think I've ever beat this game before. As for these, you won't need them any longer. You failed the children of the world, as you failed your sister when she needed you most. You don't have the courage to save them, nor the strength to do what 
what's necessary. You failed everyone. <laughs> As I've told you countless times before, Max, you've always been your own worst enemy. So I have a puzzle now for this. Morgan's have last to get through game. those columns. The real world lies beyond. This thing won't let me pass. What am I supposed to do? Seek the truth. A glass statue of Olmec. He's holding an orb. Great warrior. It changed on me, though. Almost. The black spot, okay. I can work my way around. I got it now. to this one. Out to the smashing. <laughs> ah. You have the strength. No more games, Morgan. The last bit of little girl straight paths. I need to get across those straight paths. I had a limit? Oh, lordy. Oh, thank goodness. Barely saw that. That should do it. Holy crap. You're my hero. I love you. The shadow is gone. And that's you myself. failed, Morgan. I'm gonna Ooh. live! I can't scare the shit out of me just now. <laughs> can't Let's change the pressure. Max. This Holy ends shit. here. Now! Do you know that the poison will soon condemn you to darkness forever? Lost to your doomed world. Lost to your wife. Lost to your unborn child. dying from whatever he put in there. So every single thing, including the asylum, was actually in his head this whole time. Although he may have worked at a place similar to it. Got to look at it. You his face in all of this. But like, holy shit, he's dead? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's over. Somebody caught that on camera. I'm back. It's over. But not like he was thinking. Head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, Thank you. Dr. Jacob there better be Morgan, has resigned. This surprising development comes just a few short months after the corporation made its cure for the DNA V virus available to the public. Dr. Morgan's successor, Max Lawton, the man who discovered the DNA V cure, had no comment. <laughs> <laughs> the trial of Dr. Jacob Morgan, former head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, begins this morning. Federal authorities claim Dr. Morgan hindered the drug's development in an attempt to increase company profits. It's he may so even have gone so far as to sabotage a researcher's car, an act which nearly prevented a true cure from ever being found. Prosecutors are confident that Morgan will be found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Good. Bare feet slippers? You need them to go on the rides, of course. 
Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? <laughs> this is a confusing Cute. mess. What? I wish I knew, man. Why? That stuff is for the birds. What? Who are you? Why? Tomatoes. Of... Why? Somebody had fun remixing the these the these uh, vocals. on this game that's a rude thing to say hey uh, who are you 5d <laughs> art <laughs> slimy squid boy broke loose <laughs> wish i could where is that awful music coming from i like this music it's got a great beat oh it's making me dizzy <laughs> Doing here. That almost has a good beat. The music sounds not for who I thought it would have been. Greed. Pride. Evil. My name is. My name is. Not meat. Dave Fielding, James C. McNamee, Mike Nicholson, and Chris Passetto. The voice direction? No, okay, who are the voice actors? Enough games. Enough games. Enough games. Yield before Olmec. We have a winner. Amen to that. Oh, don't cry. The music's not so bad. <laughs> That evil machine will be silent for a while. <laughs> I do honestly think this may be the first time I've ever actually beat this game. I've been trying to recollect and I think I've only ever made it to the old max sections of it where I just got bored with it. The rest of it was very pretty much straightforward actually, which was nice. That last that last all my stage was just like Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this gotta be so crazy difficult? It wasn't. I wasn't paying attention very well, it's probably more the issue. Jeff Parappa? Ooh, boy, gain some text lag there. There we go. Max Scherter as Max, or excuse me, Frank Scherter as Max Loud and Grimoire. Stephen Bennett. As Dennis O'Toole, Simple Simon, Grab, Chick Talk, and Zillanen. Brad Broman as Timothy O'Toole. Amanda Crocker, Paul Crocker. Kevin Delaney. I'll look up some of these people. I should probably look this game up for him. While we're going through all of these, since the game is lagging the fuck out trying to roll some text across the screen. David Fielding. Let's see, Sanitarium. A video game from 1998. Any of these people become famous? David Fielding? He's been in a few movies here and there. Bob Hartley, Mary Hartley, and me, Amy Hartman. Yeah. He did a fair amount of voices before and then after. Mostly gaming. They went by top build. The guy who did the voice for the main character also worked on Ravenloft. From back in the day, and Chrono Masters is only other ones. Three different voice acting jobs. Stephen Bennett was the next highest build on that list and has done games like Roll Cage for programming as well as other miscellaneous stuff on there.
Hey, Brad Bowman, Bowman, who did Timothy O'Toole, was actually the only role he ever did. I find that funny. Paul Crocker ran off to do all the Batman games, honestly. He's actually been involved not only in narrative writing and uh, uh, such and level design from Alien, vs. Uh, Alien Resurrections video game, worked in the art department of Urban Chaos, but he's also helped write stories for Batman Return to Arkham Asylum, I think, and Arkham City as well. Which is pretty cool. He worked on basically the entire Arkham series. And that was the voice of Lumpy. In the very beginning of the series. Kevin Delaney, that name sounded familiar to me. And it turns out it is because he's done a lot of games I've seen his name pop up on. Whether I recognize his voice or not, I don't know. <laughs> but he's been in a lot of different titles. Disney Infinity stuff, Final Fantasy stuff, a hundred bunch of different games, plays Mercenaries voice in the Watchmen games, Varos Cloud Strike in the World of Warcraft games, I think, yeah, in the Wrath of the Lich King one, did some Kingdom Hearts, I mean, voice acted his butt off through all kinds of stuff, Path of Neo, He was an announcer in Kangaroo Jack, and he worked together with the lead character in Chronomaster before this one. Well, those were all thanks that were sent out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is, like I said, one of the few games I don't think I've ever actually previously finished before. Um, and one of the ones I've been trying to do since I started this channel four years ago. I've been wanting to do this back then. I did not have... The understanding or capability to actually um, do the computer function it properly to get the video let alone a computer strong enough to even be able to record properly so either way I hope you enjoyed this will lead obviously as I plan to do into many other point and clicks and quite a few that I have on my list that I'd like to do that I've had never played before uh, some that I have and a lot that I haven't because I am not as versed in them as I thought I was. I guess I only played a lot of Sierra and LucasArts when I was a kid. It turns out there's a lot of smaller companies out there that were just as good, if not better. So, Either way, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then I will see you in the next series. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can see another one over here on the right-hand side. And, of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.